Hi friends, it's Candace from Beacon Hill Books. I wanted to do a quick book review on Lincoln and the Bardo by George Saunders. I was definitely intrigued by this book because I figured it was a historical fiction. It was about Lincoln and his son, and I had heard a podcast that I really liked um, where they interviewed George Saunders about the book. Obviously, it's gotten a lot of hype and press. At first, I was really intrigued by the writing style, um, how George Saunders did the book. I liked the little snippets, even though it's a sad subject about his son dying. And as after Willie actually dies, I started getting bogged down in the details. And I have to say, I think it's because of a death that I, and loss that I've experienced in my own life that I just you know, don't want to go in too deeply about, but I know he tried to make this in some ways a very light and humorous book, but it was really difficult for me to read in, uh, in a lot of ways. So, for instance, when Saunders writes about sorrow, these quotes that just really hit home. This one, it says, when a child is lost, there is no end to the self-torment a parent may inflict. When we love, when the object of our love is small, weak, and vulnerable, and has looked to us and us alone for protection, and when such protection, for whatever reason, has failed, what consolation may there possibly be? None. None. Doubt will fester as long as we live. And when one occasion of doubt has been addressed, another and then another will arise in its place. And I think that's completely true. Completely. Final quote, uh, this quote I wanted to share with you also talks about the fleetingness of this world and, you know, life and what we perceive as being such a stable location that we live in and the people in it and it's so temporary and he says he meaning Willie he came out of nothingness took form was loved was always bound to return to nothingness only I did not think it would be so soon or he would precede us two passing temporarinesses developed feelings for one another two puffs of smoke became mutually fond I mistook him for a solidity and now must pay I am not stable, and Mary not stable, and the very buildings and monuments here not stable, and the greater city not stable, and the wide world not stable. All alter, are altering, in every instant. And I think that is what I will say is life is fleeting, and you just never know. You should take nothing for granted and, you know, try and live life to its fullest. That's what I will say about these sor sorrowful quotes. I did not enjoy a lot of the banter between the, the people in the cemetery, especially the slaves. I just kind of found a lot of it really like poor humor in my opinion. I had to make myself finish this book. It is a difficult subject. I, it's not that I don't think people should read it. I just think there are people in this world that have had loss, and especially loss of children, and they might find some solace in this book that it can sort of explain a little bit of what you're feeling, but at the same time, it can be difficult to read and go through those emotions again. Oh, so this is when your world is completely rocked because something and it changes it says when is thunderstruck that such a brutal violation has occurred in what had previously seemed a benevolent world from nothingness there arose great love now its source nullified that love searching and sick converts the most abysmal suffering imaginable this is a very strange thing for me to talk about i can't talk about this with the most of the people i am with in my real life and I don't like to talk about it. Like, I can't believe I'm talking to you guys about it and putting it on the public internet. I'm not hysterically crying and bawling, but to make a long story short, a couple of years ago, I was pregnant 
and I lost my child at 24 weeks. Now, obviously this, our baby was not a full grown child like Lily Lincoln, but he was still my child. And I do understand what it's like to lose a son. I know there is a movement out about people talking about, you know, things and especially having problems um, with your pregnancies and fertility issues. And I just want to say I understand. And if anyone else has been in that situation and if they need someone to talk to, I'm here. I've been through it. I've been through a hell and I've emerged through the other side. I think that everyone handles things differently because personally I don't like to talk about it um, because usually it makes me very emotional and I don't want people to feel sorry for me, I guess. So I wasn't sure if I should post this video or not, but I just think it is a perspective that maybe isn't thought of when people are talking about the book or George Saunders maybe wrote the book even. I don't know. I know there's a lot of people out there that love this book. What are your thoughts on this book? When you actually think about it and tear it apart and what happens at the end of the book, how does it make you feel was the ending resolved for you? And I will leave it at that.